and one of the leading, uh, and he is also one of the leading American philosophers, is also one of the co-founders of the Society of Christian Philosophers in the North America, with other forms, Nick Wolstow and Bill Orston. Professor Plantinga was born in 1932 in Ann Arbor, Michigan. His father was professor of psychology at Karen College, and his younger brother, Neil Plantinga, is a theologian and the current president of Calvin Theological Seminary. Another of his brothers, uh, Leon Plantinga, is an emeritus professor of musicology at Yale University. Named Charlie. Well, I couldn't see why everything couldn't be named Charlie. And in fact, I said, if all Koreans can be named Kim, why can't everything be named Charlie? Well, then Jaguan Kim wrote me a letter, and he said, it's not true that all Koreans are named Kim. <laughs> some are named Park, some are named Lee. You know, there's some other possibilities as well. So uh, that's how I first ran into Jaguan Kim. There are many different reasons people give for supposing that there is conflict. People think conflict arises at various points in this discussion. Um, one suggestion is that whereas religions, Christian belief, for example, endorse miracles, Science is against miracles, so there there's conflict between religion and science. Another would have to do with uh, scientific scripture scholarship, which sometimes winds up endorsing theses very much at odds with uh, Christian belief. Still another would be the thought that um, the scientific way of proceeding, the scientific way of thinking is very different from the religious way of thinking and uh, is such that there is conflict along those lines in science. So the suggestion goes, you're always looking for a better theory than the one you've got. You hold every, all, every belief tentatively. Um, you uh, beliefs are accepted or rejected on the basis of their empirical results, their empirical adequacy or lack of adequacy. Whereas in religion, it's very different. If you're a Christian, you don't always go around looking for a different and better religion. Uh, that's not the way this works. Uh, so the way of thinking, the way of proceeding intellectually in Christianity is quite different from the way of proceeding in science. If the suggestion goes, that's another point of conflict. Like an ignorant screed, and like a real serious contribution to a discussion about religion and science. I think much the same also goes for Hitchens book. Um, in Darwin's own day, this conflict um, was a serious conflict, a conflict between between religion and various people who advocated evolution. Um, Darwin himself was a shy, retiring sort, but he would often give lectures in which he would uh, talk about evolution, advocate evolution. And uh, very often these discussions then after the talk would get really heated and acrimonious, very emotional. Darwin didn't like to get involved in arguments like that at all. He was much more a shy person. He, he did not enjoy that. Fortunately for him, he had his friend Thomas Huxley. Thomas Huxley liked nothing better than to get into a really uh, violent, knock-down, drag-out <coughs> argument or debate about evolution or anything else. Um, and, and he defended Darwin with such uh, fierce tenacity that he came to be called Darwin's bulldog. So, bulldog, you know. So, um, so when Darwin would go someplace to give a lecture, he would give a lecture, and then afterwards, things would get really heated up, you know, people would start attacking him, and maybe throwing things at him, and so on. And uh, he would step, a, step aside, he would say, he'd say, he'd say, okay, sick him, Huxley. And uh, then Huxley would take over. Collection. So, uh, the event invitation, one collection, and the